Hi and welcome to tutorial number four. Um, it's been a while since the third tutorial I've uh, recorded, so thanks for your patience. And um, really the reason I've jumped back on and continued with these tutorials are because of the feedback that you guys have left. So um, I'm very grateful and it's really good to have some feedback on um, things you might want to see and features that, uh, that Weebly are bringing out. So keep your comments coming um, and I'll certainly endeavor to make some more videos. One of the tweaks that I'm going to bring into uh, the next series are obviously not making them as funky and as uh, streamlined, but really concentrating more on content and, um, and making sure that they're coming out more frequently. So um, that should be better for everybody. So let's jump straight in. Uh, it's been a while since we've looked at Weebly, so I'll just have a look quickly at um, some of the more recent features that they've brought out. So um, really, as I mentioned in my previous tutorials, you should be keeping an eye on the Weebly blog. So there's a lot of information here about new features, uh, updates, and even what they're potentially going to bring out in the future. So it's good to keep an eye out for those. So um, the, the latest and probably the most significant of the features they've brought out um, is the uh, introduction of logos. So allowing you to add a logo to the top of your site, as we can see here. Um, so um, it's relatively simple to do and um, you can also edit your images um, and your logos using the image perfect uh, system that Weebly brought out that's integrated into the um, into the user interface so very handy you don't need to use a third party uh, image editing software to crop and change any of your images you can do it right from within the Weebly interface which is fantastic nice and streamlined and easy to do so um, I'll just run you through a quick example of the um, of the logo interaction um, so I'll jump into um, Dan's Badges, which is the um, the site that I started to edit with you guys in previous tutorials. So, um, firstly, you'll notice really no no major changes have been made to the site. So we've got our standard banner, um, our standard menu bar, and there's no real kind of content here at all. So um, the first thing you would probably want to do is give yourself some branding or some some form of identification on your site. So up here you can see when I hover my mouse over the top section, it um, allows me to. Um, um, select a few options. So firstly is off, so that means there's no logo for your website. The second option is text, so if we select text um, it'll actually bring up the name of the website here. Or well, thirdly is logo, um, which is the one that we're discussing today. So if I click on logo, it pops up the option to um, to pull in a logo from any location you like. You can use an image URL if you find an image online. Um, it's unlikely that you would use this because the images online typically are copyrighted. So really, you should be using images of your own. Um, the most common you'll use is from your computer. So if I click um, and bring up the uh, image here, so. Um, Let's go into our logo. So I've chosen the YouTube logo here, and I've also chosen a PNG file format. So most images um, you'll come across are .jpg or JPEG. So I'm using a .png. So I'll double click on the um, on the logo, and I'll show you the difference between a JPEG and a PNG. So here you can see we have our YouTube logo at the top of our website. It's obviously not the logo that I'm going to be using on the site. It's just for the purpose of the demonstration. So um, a PNG, basically, um, in an image, there are transparencies. So if you look around the edges of this image, there's no white border um, and there's no kind of um, no colored edges or anything. So when we created the image, we set a transparency around it. So it looks as though it sits nicely in the website, um, whereas a JPEG or a JPG image um, will actually give you the border or won't give you any transparencies around it. So my advice is uh, to go into some uh, uh, kind of image editing software and try and get a PNG. I'll cover this in a later tutorial and show you how to create these in free image editing software. But just to touch on it today, that's the reason I've gone with a PNG. So we can see our logo is here at the top now. And um, we also have the ability to edit the logo. So if I click on this, this brings up uh, Weebly's image perfect editing. So um, basic functions such as cropping and resizing. So I can pull the image any size I like here. Um, we can rotate. We can add some opacity to it, um, some effects, effects, and also some um, kind of fading. The same same kind of functions that you find in the uh, banner editing um, section of the uh, Weebly creation. So very handy. I'll click cancel because I didn't make any save uh, any changes there. Um, so that's our logo added. You can really be as creative as you like. Um, I think a logo kind of sets the scene um, a bit better and gives you some better brand identification. Um, so there are obviously some other settings up here in our settings tab. 
Um, and as I touched on before, we can choose to um, to show the site title and what the words are um, displayed if you choose a text. So I've gone with Dan's Badges, um, or you can choose Dan's Badge uh, website. And then if I save, and then up at the top here, if I choose to go with text, that's actually the name of my website. So it's up to you. Some people will prefer the name. Some people people will prefer the logo. As mentioned, the logo probably gives you some better branding um, and looks a little bit more professional. So feel um, feel free to go in and, and jump into some uh, editing software and create your own fancy logos and give yourself some branding. Um, keep your questions coming in. Um, I'm going to keep the tutorial short and sweet and try and get them um, coming out more frequently to give you more frequent updates instead of um, kind of longer drawn out, less frequent tutorials. So thanks for watching and um, I'll see you next time.